This video is to respond to questionable comments made by this individual, Jeremy Bernstein, or Bernstein, and it's going to be on my website uh, because it got taken down uh, two times today uh, on Instagram. As you can see, I attempted to post it earlier, and you see the post has been removed. So I'm going to put it somewhere where guys like him can't uh, remove it. So earlier today I was addressing him, and this was my post, and I'm going to read it. Okay, I told people to swipe and screenshot it. So this is his uh, you know, screen name, J-B-N-Y-C-M-I-A, Jeremy Bernstein. So is he a racist? I don't know. What do you guys think? These are the type of people who hate when we board jets and experience luxurious things. It angers them. When I take flicks or pictures, videos, uh, they can't fathom that we can actually do these kind of alternative income producing things that aren't some nine to five job. I didn't need to get some piece of paper college degree to live like them. Why is he insinuating that I trap or sell drugs? Uh, he doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't even know me and I don't even remotely portray any of that stuff uh, on social media especially my Instagram uh, that he started making fun of talking about, you know, low like to follow ratios, uh, you know, just pretty much my, my, my numbers, suggesting that I buy followers like a fraud. Uh, you know, when that didn't work, he went on to take personal shots. This is what happens when you're a miserable, insecure, 50 plus year old uh, who sees a person like me living well. Do you think he'd make those type of remarks uh, if he was arguing to a young young Jewish guy or any other Caucasian ethnicity, ethnicity, excuse me. Uh, we know the answer to that. This is what they think of us from the start. They smile in your face. Then when you have a minor discrepancy with them, they'll tell you how they really feel and how they felt all along. You know, this is how they talk to each other behind closed doors. Give Jeremy the biggest donkey of the day. So these were the pictures that I posted uh, with that, okay? Th this is a uh, back and forth that me and him had last night. It was pretty sad, you know, it was four in the morning and this guy was going off, okay? So you guys can read this and I'm like, man, you know, your old ass wouldn't understand. He's talking about 5%, you know, he's, he's saying I'm getting 1%, uh, you know, like to, to, to follow a ratio, all this is the nonsense. And then this is where it starts. He goes, couldn't even spring for a hundred thousand followers you used all of your money renting cars go back to trapping so he's insinuating that i purchased my followers on instagram then says go back to trapping now trapping in the uh hood urban vernacular means selling drugs i know this but i want to see him you know continue so you know i post pictures pictures infuriate him okay so that's your crew, Greg. I go back to trapping. Then he goes to my website, uh, which will be on this website as well. You can take a look at it, Residual Royalty. You know, calling it fake ass. So I'm telling him, hey, you're 50 years old on this chat at 4 a.m. Mad as hell that, uh, you know, <laughs> he's mad as hell he can't take nice flicks. So start learning to market to your IG. So then uh, I go back to his trapping, uh, you know, comment. I say, okay, well, let me get back to trapping then. So then I posted these pictures in the chat. That's me in the woods. Uh, this is unfortunately a dead fox, but you know, trapping, when you're a trapper, this is you know what the trappers do. So then he you know, continues to go, trapping equals selling drugs. By the way, guys, Greg Kermit is not a real marketing guy. I don't know what he's talking about with that. Maybe he's renting cars uh, to guys who do trap. Seems more likely. So now he's saying that I'm you know, promoting uh, car rentals to trappers to other you know people doing illegal activities and i'm like why are you telling me to sell drugs then he tells me you know i'm i'm a bit soft for the streets then uh he goes and pretty much insinuates that we've met at some point a year ago that i handed him a business card i'm like business card or social media card because i don't have any business cards i probably had one card you know ever and it just had my social media stuff on it but anyway uh, he sure didn't leave lasting impressions because I don't remember who he is. So he goes, I don't try and make an impression on wannabe drug dealers with damp, soft hands. I know my, my hands are soft, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't work any, any hard job, you know. These are some nice hands over here. Thank you, but um, I still don't remember you. 
And, you know, if you remember me, look, look at how you felt about me all along. So, you know, drug dealer or wannabe drug dealer, make up your mind. Drugs will do that to you. And the funny thing is, speaking of renting, he was in another group, okay, that was for, you know, certain members. And look at him asking, thinking of renting something. So I brought that up and he got upset at it. <laughs> he got upset about it. I go, it's still renting. He goes, yeah, renting a Ferrari in Italy, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not the same as having to hawk a Rolls Royce on Instagram. Now, if we go back to my Instagram, okay, uh, last week, I, this is my Instagram, by the way, last week, I was promoting a car rental company. Nothing wrong with that. But anyway, you see what a hater looks like. Let's get back.